All right, welcome back to Jack of All Trades Guidance Channel for Young Men. Today is video two for our basketball series, and today we're going to be talking about how to shoot. So the first thing you want to do when you shoot is you want to have your hands in the right place on the basketball. So I'm left-handed. I'm going to do it for uh, for a lefty, but uh, watching the video reverse, it actually should work for most right-handed. So your hand shooting hand is going to be behind the basketball, and what you want to make sure is that you don't have your palm on the ball. See how I have some space there? Don't let the ball sit like this. Okay, that's not how you want it. You want to have some space here. As you can see, basically, if you want to let the ball rest right here in your hand, that's fine. But then it should rest on the rest of your hand there like that. So that's how you want to hold the ball. Now, this is my shooting hand. This is my guide hand. All my guide hand is doing, okay, is holding the ball on my shooting hand until I can actually shoot. And as we progress through this, you'll see, if you are turning your guide hand while you shoot, you're doing it wrong. First, we'll kind of we'll kind of start from the bottom and work, work our way up. You want your feet about shoulder width apart, and whatever hand you're going to shoot with, for me, it's my left. So my left foot is going to be slightly in front of my right foot. So I'm going to back up so you can see it. My left foot is going to be very slightly in front of my right foot. Shoulder width apart. Knees bent in an athletic stance. Now remember, we catch the ball. We catch it in the triple threat. I'm pretty much ready to shoot. I have my knees bent, my feet are shoulder width apart, my shooting foot is slightly in front of the other one. Now it's very important that my feet are facing the basket when I shoot. And yes, there's fadeaways and there's things like that, but for a basic shot, you want your feet facing the basket and you want your chest, you want your shoulders square to the basket. In a lot of sports, you know, where you point your feet, where you point your body, that's where the ball goes. When you play golf, if you line your feet up like this, the ball's going to go that way. Basketball is very similar. If I'm going to shoot and my shoulders are facing this way and the basketball's over, basket's over here, I'm, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss left. I can already tell you that. That's an extremely difficult shot. And if you watch professionals, even when they do, you know, they do a little shimmy shake, turn around, fade away, when they shoot, they're squared up with the basket. They have their shoulders facing the basket. So that's very important. So now on up to your arms. And the saying to remember, it's silly, but it works, is you're carrying a pizza up an elevator with your hand in the cookie jar. So I have the ball here. I have my guide hand. And again, all my guide hand. I'll just go ahead and show you. Watch my guide hand, how it just slides off. It doesn't turn. At no point does it turn because I'm not using it to shoot. So if you do this, if you see somebody that does this with their hand, they're doing it wrong. All that guide hand does, the ball just slowly slides off just like this just slides off that hand as you shoot so I'm carrying a pizza up an elevator hand in the cookie jar and what you want to remember when you shoot this is you want to keep your elbow in and you want your hand want your forearm to be perfectly vertical and really you should have a straight line a straight line from your feet all the way up and I'll go ahead and shoot one to show it you want a straight line when you shoot. Straight line from your feet to kind of all the way up through your leg, up through your arm. And then remember, you got to push up, you got to push out, you got to snap your wrist. The ball should spin exactly like this. If your ball does this, or this, or this, with no spin, then you're doing something wrong. You're not snapping your wrist enough. When you go to shoot, carry that pizza up the elevator, hand in the cookie jar. It's important to try to make it one motion, so it takes practice. Keep practicing. Now I'm going to show you a couple things that people, common things that people do that are incorrect. When you're shooting, look where I'm looking through. I'm looking between my arms at the basket. So what you'll see a lot of people do is, especially people who grow up as kids trying to jack up threes, you know, before they're really strong enough, is they do this. That's a common shot where somebody lines it up and they throw it. People also kick their elbow out. So you'll see somebody go for a shot. And instead of their arm being straight up and down, they kick that elbow out. Now what that does is it adds a whole other dimension to your shot. When I shoot like this, if I face the basket, if I'm squared up and I'm lined up, I really only have to worry about distance, about am I going to shoot too far, am I going to shoot too short. My shot should be pretty straight most of the time. Now, if I kick my elbow out and go to shoot like this, now I have to worry about 
being in line as well. Because if I shoot too hard, I'm going to shoot this way. And if I shoot too soft, I might end up over here. So straighten it. Pull your elbow in. Your elbow should be pulled in so that it's totally vertical. So those are the basics for shooting. I'm going to go through it one more time. Feet shoulder width apart. Whatever hand you're going to shoot with, that foot should be slightly in front of the other foot. You're going to have your knees bent in an athletic position. You should catch the ball in that triple threat. So whether you're doing this from a dribble or you're doing it from just catching a pass, you kind of start from the same place, which should be right around here. Don't bring the ball down super low when you go to shoot. That's one thing I, I didn't talk about and I should have, is people will catch the ball here, and instead of just going into their shooting motion, they'll bring it down, bring it back up. Well, if the guy that's guarding you has quick hands, he's just going to stick his hands out, you're going to bring the ball down, and you're going to bring it right back up, and he's going to strip it. So don't let that happen. Wherever you catch the ball, you can go right into your shooting motion. You don't need to cock it and bring it all the way down. That's not necessary. The other thing some, a lot of people do is they bring their feet together. So try to avoid bringing your feet together when you shoot. You have no balance. If I'm standing and I have my feet together, I have no balance. And in a game, everybody's moving. You're, you're running one way. So if I go to shoot like this, I'm going to fall over. Whereas if I keep my feet separated, I have balance. So feet shoulder width apart. Your shooting foot should be slightly in front of your non-shooting foot. We're going to take the ball. We're going to hold it properly with our shooting hand, just like this. Fingers spread in the middle of the ball. If you don't know how to find the middle of the ball, what you do is find the hole where the needle goes in and put that right here, right between your index, your pointer, and your middle finger. Just like that. And that, that shows you that's a good place to have your hand right in the middle. Guide hand on the side. And all I'm doing with that guide hand is I'm helping holding. I'm not out here. I'm on the side. And I'm just holding the ball on my hand long enough so I can get that shot off. Elbow in so that your hand's vertical. Straight line. All the way up from your foot. All the way up through the ball. And I'm going to carry that pizza up the elevator. And then I'm going to put my hand in the cookie jar. We'll show it a couple times here. Pizza up the elevator, hand in the cookie jar, snap that wrist. Get that really good spin on the ball. Snap it, it should be like this every time. This helps you get a really good bounce. And that way if you miss, hopefully it'll bounce around on the rim and you have a chance of it going in. If you shoot it flat, you're not gonna get a good bounce. And if you shoot it with some kind of side spin, it's going to bounce off every time. I wanted to quickly add a couple things to this video. Just uh, three quick points that I did not discuss while I was outside. So when you shoot, you want to shoot at the height of your jump. And so when you jump, you want to jump, shoot before you come back down, right at the height of your jump. If you watch the slow-mo I have in, you can see that's when I release the ball right at the height of my jump. Now you don't want to wait. Don't wait till you're at your height and you're about to start coming down because now you've lost all that momentum and it's going to take a lot of extra arm strength to get that ball off. So it's really as you reach the height of your jump. So don't wait until your motion has stopped because then it takes just a lot more to get that ball there. If you shoot as you reach the peak, you can use a little bit of that momentum, a little bit of that jump to get your shot off and that can help you where you don't have to use quite as much arm. You can put a little more finesse on the ball. So height of the jump, that's when you want to release the ball. You want to put arch on the ball. So you don't want to shoot flat. And I have a cup here, and this is the simplest way I can think to explain it. So imagine that you're the ball trying to, and you shoot a flat shot. Well, maybe that's what your ball is looking at. That's what it's got to try to get in. You, have no, you don't have much room for error. If you miss, it's coming back at you. So again, if I'm shooting flat, that's what that ball is trying to, to drop in there. Um, and again, this is super simple, but it's the best way that I can explain it. Now, if I put arch on the ball like I should, and I have nice arch on my shot, it's looking at that. It's obviously much easier to drop the ball in. Okay, so if you shoot and you have nice backspin like you're supposed to, and you put arch on the ball, so if you're here and the basket's here, your ball should have arch. Don't shoot flat. Don't give your ball that much of a chance to get in. Let it see the whole rim, okay? Put arch on the ball on your shot. And then if you miss, it's going to give you a much uh, better chance 
of that ball bouncing around the rim and falling in. If you miss on a flat shot, and I know guys who you know grew up shooting flat and they just kind of stuck with it, but when they missed, that was it. They didn't get a bounce. They didn't get a friendly roll. If they missed, things coming right back at them, and that's what's going to happen every single time. So don't shoot flat, and there's a tendency as you get tired and as you the further out you go, there's a tendency to start shooting flat. You're almost kind of throwing the ball more than shooting that. Don't do that. Get the ball up. Okay, do your full carry the pizza up the elevator, put your hand in the cookie jar, and make sure that you have real nice arch on the ball. The last point I wanted to add in here is, is you want to aim for just over the rim when you shoot. And I've heard there's different variations of that. Some guys try to say, try to shoot just over the front of the rim. Some guys say, hey, imagine kind of a, a red dot in the middle of the rim, and you're trying to hit the center of the rim there. A uh, bunch of different ways to think of it, but you got to get the ball over the front of the rim. And I've always found it's kind of a good aiming point when you shoot as you're trying to get the ball over the, right over the front of the rim. Those were just three quick points I wanted to add that I did not mention when I was outside. Those are the basics there for shooting. Uh, so we had a dribbling one. We had a shooting one. We'll keep making videos. I'll try to increase it, try and do it at least once a week. Uh, let me know what you think. Share this video, subscribe, and, uh, and leave a comment. Appreciate it.